and today we're gonna be running a job on the Style X7. So what we're gonna be running is this part, which is typically a part you would maybe run on the lathe due to all the concentric features. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running op one and op two side by side to where we'll have three parts coming off the machine completed at the end. A lot of young guys are starting out where they're ready to put a machine in their garage. And that's one of the advantages of having the mill is you can do both lathe parts and mill parts without having to have two different types of machines. And now for the setup, we got bar stock that we're gonna be loading in our left-hand vise. And when it's done running on the left-hand side, we're gonna be flipping it over and loading into the right-hand side. So that when we're done running this program, we're gonna be having three finished parts that are coming off the machine. All right, so the first thing going on is the drill's coming in on the left-hand vise for our OP1, and it's clearing out the majority of the material through the center of the hole on the parts. Now, after our drill is done, you're gonna see it do a double tool change here. That's because we have a face mill that's considered a large tool in this machine, so we're gonna have to keep a pocket open on each side of it. And as you see, the face mill is gonna come over and do the left-hand vise and then the right-hand vise and make it a very efficient tool pass to hit both sides. It's just skimming the top, but it's getting it right to the finished height on the right-hand side. Then our 3 8 end mill is gonna come in and it's gonna rough around the outside of the material, doing an adaptive roughing pass, getting the majority of the material removed away. And then after the adaptive pass, it's gonna come down and ramp around it to kind of finish the boss on the material. Right here, it's doing the ramping, and this is just a rough pass to where it's still staying off the floor and off the wall of the OD diameter of the part. The tool is going to full slot down around the bottom of the part, but it's going to stay off the walls. This is so that the chamfer can get done on the back side of the hex on OP1 so that when we flip it over on OP2 and complete the hex, we'll have a fully finished part. So now after it finished the outside of the part and it roughed the hex, it's going to ramp down the inside of the part to, again, re remove the majority of the material. So once it gets done with the ramping, it's going to finish to doing the ID for our thread mill and then it's gonna go down and rough and finish the one inch diameter bore that goes through the part. And now after that ID is done, it's moving over to the OP2 side where it's gonna be doing a rough and finish pass for the full hex on the part. We also offer other type of machines like MCOs and YCMs, which are gonna give you five axis capabilities, which are a great alternative to a style once you're at that point. Just reach out to Keith at titansofcnc.com and he'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. The reason that we got our feed rate slowed down a little bit on this tool pass is because as it releases from all the parts, the part on the right hand side may rotate if you're roughing it a little bit too hard. So we slowed down the feed rate a little bit on that one. So now it's doing the finish pass on the hex. And then after this, it's gonna go up and grab the chamfer mill to do all the deburr and chamfer work on the parts. So it's gonna start with chamfering around the bottom of the hex. So we're getting that backside chamfer on the hex and this is going to finish right now. Now after that hex, it's going around and doing the OD chamfer and then it's gonna move on to the inside and do the ID chamfer and the uh, chamfer for the thread. So now that our chamfer tool is done, it's gonna go up and grab our key cutter. And this key cutter is used to do an undercut for the thread mill that we're gonna be bringing in next. So you might see we only do a single pass with this key cutter. That's because it's just for the undercut and it's not set to a critical diameter. Now after our key cutter is done, we're bringing in our thread mill, which is gonna be the final tool on this part. So now when our thread mill gets done running, 
On the left hand side, we're gonna have a part that's ready to get flipped over and put in the op two. And on our right hand side, we're gonna have three parts that are done and finished, ready to come out of the machine. All right, so that was a great way of running some lathe parts in the mill and doing multiple parts at a single time. That's one of the advantages of having a machine like an X7 to start out, where you're able to run different types of parts like lathe parts and mill parts, and even fixture to run multiple parts at the same time. So if you're looking for any further information about the machines that we offer, just reach out to Keith at titansofcnc.com and he'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.